Oh, I got hit already, guys. Whoa, that's so fast. Oh, that's a big fish. The fall migration has been a blast to fish. This is nuts. And it's not over yet. Follow me as we do some jetty fishing, followed up by grilling our catch. That looks amazing. Let's go. Beautiful morning out here at Fish Pass. I'm already currently fishing. We started our day off a little early and I have a Carolina rig rigged on here. I got a mullet out there at the moment. See what happens. I might have to move around, but at the moment we're gonna start right here and see what happens, guys. Oh, it came off. Damn, we need bait. The mullet were absolutely thick in a second and third gut. And that played a vital part as to how we were catching our fish later in the day. Got the red over here. Everybody's catching reds. I'm gonna look in the surf for some mullet. I'm gonna take the bucket with me. Oh, you got a redfish, huh? Let's see. Where at? Where at? Oh. While I cast that mullet in the surf, here's what happened the day before. It's a beautiful morning out here at Fish Pass today, guys. So the water actually came up to the dunes last night. It's actually going out, giving us a little chance to fish right here. Let's see what happens. Let's get out there. Get him right here, bro. <laughs> Good one. Almost bro, there's a bunch of finger mullet like crazy. I saw him jumping, then he got it. Oh, that's so cool! It's a nice snook. The snook was undersized and got quickly released. I'm wrong, guys. But as that was happening, I hooked up to a fish myself. I'm not even sure what this is, but it's. I don't know what it is, bro. It's fighting like a red. It is a red. I was like, dude, hopefully it's a big snook. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, it is a slot red, bro. All right, guys, this guy survived a fight, so I'm gonna release him back into the water where he belongs. There he goes.
Oh, right into the net. <laughs> and I pulled out another slaw red, guys. The first one was all mangled up by a shark. So we let him go. He deserved to live. This guy right here, it's very delicious on the other hand. And he's gonna be dinner, guys. Let's get this guy on a stringer and let's get back out there. Back to where we were, cast netting some mullet. After I bagged a couple, I went right back oh, to fishing. Fun. And the bites. Oh, that's a bigger one. Oh. We're instant. Did it come off? Yeah, I think. Yeah, mine came off. Oh, that was a good fish. Dude, my mullet's still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. Rig of choice, fish finder rig. Also known as Carolina rig. One ounce egg weight, swivel, 40 pound fluorocarbon, and a size 4.0 Gamagatsu octopus J hook. I just got thumped. Yeah, I'm on. Oh, the mullet right there. Yep, there he is. This is a keeper for sure. Oh, they keep popping off. These redfish are going crazy right now, guys. Let's see if I can get myself one real quick. Before it's too late. These tides and currents are really crazy, guys. And we came out here looking for some flounder. But these redfish are pretty active at the moment, so we're going to try to get ourselves a limit of redfish. Our baits kept getting dragged to the right by the current. Right up against the rocks. But that's exactly where the big fish... <sighs> we're ambushing the bait. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I got it, bro. I got my corkers on, so I'll get in the water if I have to. They're right on the drop off, bro. Literally right on the drop off. Take like my homies on one too. I don't know who this is. My lip. That's where they're at. I missed like four or five of them already, bro. They're hitting weird. They're like, they're like running. They're like hitting it and running. All right, guys, we just doubled up on some nice redfish keepers. Let's freaking go. Let's get back out there. Bite's hot. Let's keep fishing. Live mother on the Carolina rig. Going out, guys. The mother were coming down the beach from the north and sitting right here. And the redfish were pushing them against the rocks and having a feeding frenzy. All right, I'm on the redfish here, guys. Oh, shit, I'm around you, bro. I might, I might go around your line. I don't know where he's at. Yeah. Keeper looks like too. Thank you guys. Yes yeah, sir. Alright guys, the first red was 27 and a half. Now we got ourselves a nice 24 inch redfish. One more and we got ourselves a limit guys. Came out here looking for some flounder, but I'll take myself a limit of redfish guys. Let's get back out there, let's get a mullet on that Carolina rig, and let's get going. Some homie ones on over here. Keep 
You got one, bro? Yeah, it's a slot. Yes, sir. Watch another redfish here, guys. Get these guys above the rocks before he breaks me off. It's like my final slot right here. Get our limit right here, guys. Let's go. Right, I got my limit of redfish, guys. Am I here for flounder? Got myself some redfish. Let's freaking go. All right, let's get a quick measurement on this dude. My last red is going to be 25, 24 and a half inches, guys. 24 and a half inch redfish to finish my limit. The bite was definitely hot. While I was measuring out my redfish, my buddy Juan was quick to hook another slot redfish. This sealed our limit. Got it, bro. Oh, that one's a good one, looks like. It's a keeper. Got him. That's a perfect keeper, bro. He just doubled up. Yeah, mine's 24 and a half. Thank you, bro. Hold that, hold the fish up for the camera, bro. A lot of the reds we're getting today, guys, have have like uh, mutilated tails by the by the sharks or or dolphins. Look at that tail, guys. A lot of the fish are like that today. Then again, in the late like uh, late October, redfish we're always catching are simply always like that too. They go cuts and gashes in them. All right, guys, we came out here for flounder, but these redfish were just crushing the mullet. Got out there, we started with one, we found out where they were feeding, and we quickly got our lemon, guys. Fortunately, the current was a little bit strong, the waves were a little bit bad, however, the redfish were really good. We came out here for flounder, but I'll take my lemon to redfish, guys. Now let's go home, clean these fish up, and cook them up, guys. Let's go. How about that fishing action, guys? Now we're back home, and I have the fillets here nice and cleaned up. I plan on seasoning them up, wrapping them in bacon, throwing some cream cheese on there, throwing them in a barbecue pit, and eating them in some fresh homemade tortillas, guys. Let's get started. All right, guys, y'all are gonna have to bear with me because I've never made some bacon wrapped fish with cream cheese here before. So they're gonna be a little bit cheesy, but uh, first we gotta season them up. A little bit of salt. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of onion powder. A little bit of black pepper. And a little bit of paprika. work guys now I'm only going to be seasoning one side now to begin the process of putting this cream cheese on top before I start to roll it I didn't really think this through guys but a little bit more of a warmer cream cheese so that's a little bit more softer might be easier to spread on top of this fish but we're gonna get our cream cheese on top and I'll get right back to you guys all right guys don't ask me how I did it it was a bit of work but I got the cream cheese on the fish here now it's time to roll it up guys so I got myself a redfish fillet here. 
I'm going to put the meat on the back side that's not seasoned. And then we're going to roll it up and make ourselves a little pinwheel here. There you go. All right, we got one right here, nice and ready to go. All right, guys, all done. Now, I'm gonna to be topping it off with some lemon pepper, out of steak seasoning, so we're just gonna use a little bit of lemon pepper and sprinkle the whole thing with some lemon pepper. Now we get the fire started. Look at these cheesy bacon wrapped redfish rolls, guys. Smoking up nice in the barbecue pit with some oak and mesquite. That looks amazing. And it's almost done. All right guys, now we're back inside with the redfish rolls. These cheesy redfish rolls look amazing. I just want to eat one right now to be honest with you guys. It smells delicious. Got some Spanish rice here as well. Got some fresh vegetables cut up for a taco. And we're about to make some fresh tortillas right now guys. Guys, I have no tortilla press, so I am gonna improvise to make the homemade tortillas. <laughs> and you just have to press. Make sure you have your comal heated. Fresh tortillas, guys. I know what y'all requested in the, one of my last videos for some fresh tortillas, and now you have it, guys. All right, guys, we got ourselves a plate. I got some rice and some beans on there. Got my tortilla. I'm about to add cheesy bacon wrap redfish roll. Got a toothpick in it, got to take it out. Let's break this bad boy up. That looks amazing. It's gonna be a crazy taco. Now it's time to add a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of onions, as well as a little bit of jalapenos, guys. Got some jalapenos cut up here. Now to top it off with a little bit of crumbled cheese here, guys, right on top. All right, guys, look at this taco. Looks amazing. The only thing it's missing now is a little bit of lime. Get that sucker right up on top. Now we're gonna give it a shot. That. Hmm. Trying to finish that there, guys. That was delicious, guys. Perfect amount of flavor. That cheese, cream cheese, everything. The smoky flavor, it was just amazing. Now, this is South Texas Fishing Fam. Make sure to like, comment, and please don't forget to subscribe, guys. We are out. Oh, that's a bigger one. Oh.